Hello, my name is Lamorna Ash and I am the author of Dark Salt Clear, Life in a Cornish Fishing Town. I've got a copy of the book here. It came out on April the 2nd and it's been incredibly exciting to have a book come out despite lockdown and despite the difficult situation that the whole world is facing at the moment. The last time I was actually in Edge of the World bookshop was just before lockdown began and I thought I needed a particularly meaty book to get me through lockdown so I bought War and Peace and it has been exactly what I needed and beautiful and like entering a whole world reading it. So I'm very grateful to have had a nice book to have read from Edge of the World. Um, to give you a brief introduction of my book, it is about the months that I spent living in a Cornish fishing town called Newland, which is um, a fishing town on the south coast of Cornwall, down towards the land's end, so right near the edge of the land. Um, whilst I was there, I went out on a deep sea trawler for eight days. I went out on crabbers and ring netters and gill netters and learnt how to gut and how to fillet fish. I spent my nights with fishermen in pubs, getting very drunk, hearing stories about the sea and myths and things about their families and their ancestors who were also men of the sea. I went on long coastal walks and got very lost a lot of the time and I thought a lot about the sea and what it means to me and what it means to the people in this town. Um, I wanted to talk about something that I haven't really thought about much since the book has come out, which is its title. I thought that it would be a really easy thing to name a book. I thought that was the last thing you did and it would be clear and definitive. But I spent months agonising over what to call my book. I would have these sleepless nights where I'd be tossing and turning, turning over different words to do with the sea. So I'd be trying to imagine how I could fit gumboots or how I could fit the word guts in. Um, Colours to do with the blue and the sea and trying again and again. For a while it was called At Sea, then it was called The End of the Line. But something about these names, they just felt a little bit too prosaic. Um, at one point my publishers sort of jokingly thought that we could call it Trawler Girl, which I vetoed because I thought it made me sound like a really rubbish superhero. Um, I thought in the end, okay, I can't find this word, this one word that's going to encapsulate everything that my book means. Why don't I go back to the things that I read whilst I was writing the book? And one of these was when I first went down to Newlyn, a very good friend of mine had lent me a copy of Elizabeth Bishop's collected works. Um, in it there's a poem called At the Fish Houses and there were some lines in this poem that I thought, there we go, that's it, I'd love that to be the title for my book. Um, Elizabeth Bishop lived by the sea throughout her life in different places across the world and she's constantly trying to imagine what she thinks the sea is and trying to use it almost as a tool to understand her own life. In At the Fish Houses, she says of the sea, I've seen it over and over, the same sea, the same slightly indifferently swinging above the stones, icily free above the stones, above the stones and then the world. She goes on to say, if you tasted it, it would first taste bitter, then briny, then surely burn your tongue. It is like what we imagine knowledge to be, dark, salt, clear, moving, utterly free, drawn from the cold, hard mouth of the world, derived from the, rock, derived from the rocky breasts, forever flowing and drawn, and since our knowledge is historical, flowing and flown. And I just thought that dark, salt, clear, that felt like a way of talking about the sea without being too explicit or definitive, and it just felt exactly what I wanted to call my book. Um, there's quite a lot of literature woven into my book. It's how I started to understand um, how this kind of place could be written about somewhere that was so complex and had so many different parts to it and beauty and passion and rage in it. And I realised that through reading other things, I found my own voice and my own way of expressing it. Um, hopefully I will get down to the edge of the world, edge, uh, edge of the world soon to buy some more books from you. Um, and for now I hope everyone is keeping safe in lockdown and if you would like to buy my book that would be really amazing thank you so much bye